Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the strangest laws from all 50 U.S. states. Some will be weirder than others, obviously, and some of them you won't even know existed in your state, and you've been breaking the law every day of your life. Like in all 50 U.S. state videos, I will be going in order, so we will be starting with the A's. And if you like this video, please give that thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. All right, so the first state we're going to be looking at is Alabama, baby. Drew's home state. I'm sure it has to do with something with cousins and sisters. We'll see what this law is. All right, here it is, Alabama. And... Uh, uh, it's a guy getting shot by silly string. So there's no silly string allowed in Alabama. In Alabama, it's illegal to keep, store, use, manufacture, sell, offer for sale, give away, or handle any bray string, snap pops, or other matter or substances similar to Thoretto, which I have no clue what that even means. So it looks like Alabamas don't like to have parties. That's a little shocking to me, but I can't have any of that fun stuff. That's weird. It's random. But I'm sure it's because it's super crappy to clean up, so I understand. All right, the next state we're going to be looking at is Alaska. Where it's nice and beautiful and snowy and whatnot. Alaska. It has a picture of a moose. Don't waste your moose. If a hunter takes a moose, certain parts of the animal, including the head, the heart, liver, kidney, stomach, and hide, are legally required to be salvaged for human use. So it sounds like if you are going to shoot a moose, you better be able to use or eat every single part of his body. Or her body, sorry. I mean, I think that's just common sense, but I mean, maybe there's people like, yeah, I don't want this head. I don't want this liver. I don't want this heart. I just think that's good because it's like respectful to the animal, but that's just what I'm thinking. Whatever. That's not a bad law at all. I think that's pretty okay. All right, next on the list, not too far from Alaska, Arizona. Not too far from Alaska, you get the joke. And this is a very interesting photo. Arizona, no spitting on the sidewalk. What the heck? It's illegal to spit on a public sidewalk, crosswalk, or highway, or in a park or public building. Wow. Did you guys know this, Arizona? If you spit, it's illegal? Anywhere except maybe your house? Crazy, I wonder what the fine would be for that. It's only illegal in a few places. And Goodyear, Arizona. If you live in Goodyear, Arizona, that's where it actually is. It is illegal legal to spit and you can be fined up to $2,500 and six months in jail or both. Okay, well, that's interesting. Don't want to live in Goodyear, Arizona. Got to make sure to write that down. All right, next on the list is Arkansas. I'm just kidding. It's Arkansas. We all know. It's apparently not even illegal. So this isn't even a law. Apparently it's discouraging to pronounce Arkansas incorrectly. It's pronounced Arkansas without the S at the end. Just wanted to let you guys know at Arkansas, you don't have weird laws. So good job guys. All right, next on our list is California, my state. We'll see how that is. California, no eating frogs that oof in frog jumping contest. Okay, that's a weird law, but whatever. Apparently we take frogs very seriously. And this is state law. Person is allowed to possess any number of live frogs for frog jumping contest. But if a frog oofs or is oofed, it must be destroyed as soon as possible and not be eaten or otherwise used for any other purpose. That is a weird law. I will give us that. And it makes no sense, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I would not want to be eating frogs. All right, next on our list, we got Colorado. Is it gonna be something involving the green stuff that we're not supposed to be uh, inhaling? Colorado, picture of a sofa outside. No outdoor sofas. Oh, wow, is that really a law? Wow, apparently it was passed in 2001 to prohibit the use of indoor furniture outside. So no couches on front lawns or porches. According to the ordinance, this aim was to protect public health, safety, and welfare of the city's residents. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That must be looking ghetto, so I understand. They're not trying to protect the health and safety and welfare. They're trying to make the city not look like the hood, which, you know what? I'm all for that. That's cool with me. It does make a street look not clean. But you know what? Hey, I grew up in the hood all the time, bro. They were still comfortable. Our next on our list is gonna be Connecticut. Town records can't be kept where liquor is sold. So this is actually legal up until 2000. 2002, so 20 years ago. It was illegal in Connecticut to store town records in locations where liquor is sold. That is kind of a weird law, and I don't understand why you guys did that, but that would be interesting to find out why this law was ever put into place, because it sounds pretty shady if you think about it. All right, next on the list is going to be Delaware with a picture of prostitution saying pawnbrokers can't take artificial limbs. In Delaware, it's illegal for a pawnbreaker to take or receive as a pledge or pawn any artificial limbs or wheelchairs. I wonder why though. There must have been something in Delaware's past that made it be like, yo, we can't be just selling fool's arms. People just like, we're losing their legs left and right and like, yo, let's just steal this fool's leg, pawn that stuff, bro. We're trying to make some money. That one's a weird one, for sure. All right, next on our list is the famous Florida with the Florida men there. And theirs was an accidental 
ban of all computers. Damn, bro. Imagine. Imagine banning computers. Yeah, you got a computer in your house? Yeah, you're going to jail, bro. Handcuff that fool. You're going to prison for a very long time. So Florida ran into a bit of trouble in 2013. Wow, it wasn't that long ago. It accidentally banned all computers in the state. Wow. I wonder how long the ban was. So according to this article, yes. When uh, Florida approved a ban of slot machines and internet cafes, all 1,000 internet cafes were shut down immediately. And then one of the owners sued the state that it can apply to any computer device that can connect to the internet. So that means you ban your phones too, bro. Obviously, eventually they declared it un unconstitutional. So. so it was weird, but it was an accident. So it would happen in Florida, though. <laughs> Our next one on the list is right next to Florida, actually, shockingly enough. It's Georgia. And this law is not eating fried chicken with a fork. Okay, who in their right mind eats fried chicken with with a fork. I think this law is valid. According to some Gansville proclamation passed in 1961, it was designed to promote Gavinsville as a poultry center. It's illegal to eat fried chicken with a fork. And in 2009, a woman was arrested as a practical joke for violating the law. <laughs> Holy crap. Obviously, she was later pardoned, but that is insane. I'm about to go to Georgia, just be like, hey, yo, police officer, what you think about this, bro? Dab my chicken and you eating it? Yeah, that's right. What you gonna do about it? That's crazy. That's actually weird. I think it's cool. Though. I like that you guys are trolling people with that law. I would definitely keep it. All right, next on our list, we're going to the beautiful islands of Hawaii. And in Hawaii, you cannot have billboards. They are illegal, which is kind of funny because I actually have never seen a billboard in Hawaii, and this makes sense. It's to stop from blocking the state's gorgeous scenery. So billboards are illegal. I can see how that's weird because there's billboards everywhere in the United States, but I think that's a good law. When you go to Hawaii, you don't want to look at billboards. You want to see the beautiful islands. All right, next on our list, we're going to Idaho. And Idaho has a picture of a sandwich with a hand in it cannibalism is illegal okay except in extreme circumstances idaho what are you guys doing most of us assume that eating fellow humans doesn't fly obviously but in idaho it's clarified in the law though the law also says it's legitimate defense to have committed cannibalism wow i think we have a winner for the weirdest law guys under the extreme life-threatening conditions as the only apparent means of survival so idaho i know you're famous for potatoes bro i'm gonna start no Yafu's being famous for some other stuff over there. Idaho is definitely going for the number one spot in the weirdest laws, that's for sure. Alright, next on our list, we're going to Illinois. Pictures of a bunch of baby chickens or ducks. I'm pretty sure it's chickens. It's illegal to dye baby chicks or other fowls or rabbits. Oh, so you can't dye them, like different colors. So apparently in Illinois, it's illegal to sell or display live living baby chicks, ducklings, or gos goslings, or fowls or rabbits who have been died in any way. I mean, I guess that could be animal cruelty. I don't know. I don't know about none. Animals, laws. That's why we're looking at these weird laws. And next, right next to Illinois, Indiana. With their weirdest law, with a picture of a pie, pie is equal, actually equal to 3.2. What the hell is this? Have I been being taught math wrong for all these years? Pi is obviously a long and irrational number. We all know that. And it's hard to remember, duh. 3.14, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know. That's it. That's all I know. So apparently in Indiana House of Representatives, they passed a bill in 1897 redefining the value of pi at 3.2. Bro, you can't, math is math. You can't change numbers just because it's easy or more easy for you. I don't know. I understand why you would want to make pi easy, but it's famous because it's not easy. And right next to Illinois is Indiana, Iowa. What? <laughs> this is weird. So in Iowa, you cannot buy cars or RVs on Sundays. So lots of states have laws that restrict various activities on Sundays. And in Iowa, it is illegal to sell automobiles or RVs on Sundays. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know this is, has to do with religion, and I know it has to do with, you know, you're supposed to relax on Sunday. So, I mean, this, this isn't that weird. Even till this day, I know there's a lot of other places that you can't do things on Sunday. It's not super weird. Not like Idaho. Next on our list is gonna be Kansas. What? Okay, this is Kansas. It says, no ice cream on cherry pie. I don't think this is, is this actually illegal there? Kansans, I don't think I said that right, don't mess around with their cherry pie. Oh, so at one point, it was illegal in the state to top a slice of cherry pie pie with a scoop of ice cream that's crazy bro they made that a law um it's unclear how this law originated or whether it's still technically on the books that's insane so the law technically is still there in kansas you are not supposed to put ice cream on your cherry pie but it is not enforced so i'm about to go over there and break the law i feel like back in the day people were just making up laws here and there just hey i'll pass this law i don't like that i just imagine someone back in the day was like <gasps> Did you just put ice cream on this cherry pie? Blasphemy! And that's how the law originated. Now we're going to Kentucky, where the fried chicken is famous. No reptiles in religious services. Okay, yeah, I still don't get that either. I've seen a bunch of movies where, like, people are in a church, and uh, they just have snakes everywhere, like, around them. 
I don't understand that at all, but in Kentucky, that's illegal. If you're caught using a reptile in a religious service in Kentucky, you could face a fine of more than $50. Bro, that's like nothing. So it was most likely developed because they needed to practice better snake handling in the early 20th century. So I guess the fine isn't that big, but I'm pretty sure it's not very practiced very much anyways anymore. So I don't know if I'd want to go to church if there's snakes there. I'm just saying. I mean, if you're into that stuff though, kudos to you. All right, next on our list is Louisiana. Bear wrestling is prohibited. Was this Russia? Louisiana law states that individuals involved in bear wrestling matches, a match of contest between one or more persons and a bear for the purpose of fighting or engaging in a physical altercation. Wow. Do you guys like wrestling bears in Louisiana? What the hell? There always had to be some kind of thing that happened in the past. It was like, hey, our bear population's either going down or people keep dying from bear fighting. <laughs> Next, we're going to the tippy top Maine. Maine, no dancing at a bar that sells alcohol unless the bar has a permit. Dancing is prohibited at establishments that sell liquor unless the establishment has a been issued a special amusement permit. I mean, that's just like extra work for bartenders or clubs or whatever. I don't see why that would even be a thing. But you know what? The East Coast has been around longer, so they know what they're doing over there. Most of the time. All right, next on our list, we're going to Maryland. No cursing allowed? What the? What the f It's illegal to profanely curse and swear or use obscene language upon or near any street, sidewalk, or highway within the hearings of person passing by. So you can't curse in uh, Maryland. Maryland, apparently. Guess I'd be in jail if I live there. I wonder if people in Maryland even know this. I'm 100% sure no one just goes to jail. Hey, you said the F word, bro. What's the, what's, what's profane law or obscene language? You can say anything. Hey, that's an obscene language, bro. I'm taking you to prison. All right, now we're going to Massachusetts, which I loved it there if you haven't been. Massachusetts, you must sing the national anthem correctly. According to state law, if a person plays, sings, or renders the Star Spangled Banner in a public place, theater, motion picture, blah, 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 restaurant, any place, pretty much anywhere. So pretty much if you don't sing it properly or you do it in a weird way, that doesn't go with the melodies, you can face a fine. So now, where's Idaho? Sorry, Idaho's winning. All right, now we're going to Michigan with the weird uh, two tops. I don't understand this, but there had to be something in the past that this happened. And one day I will make a video about it and we can all learn about it. No intoxications in the train in Michigan. What? You can't get hammered on a train, bro? What? Nah, no, come on, Michigan. Come on. You're on a train. What else are you going to do in there? You'd better think carefully about how to get, to get home. According to state law, it's illegal for a person in an offensive state of intoxication to enter enter or be on or remain upon any railway train would you rather me drive home michigan is that what you're saying I'll do it. I'm sure this law was made back in the day when people probably were intoxicated all the time and probably just everyone used that train in that time period and people were probably always doing stupid stuff on the train. I don't think this is weird probably for that time, but now, yeah. All right, Michigan, Wisconsin's neighbor, Minnesota. I actually do want to visit all those ice states. I just think of them as ice states. They're not ice states. They're just close to Canada. Bingo is only allowed two days a week until 2015. Wow, that's pretty recent. Minnesota law limited nursing homes and senior centers to just two days of bingo? Why? Bro, do you want to play bingo? go every day why won't you let them do it? i don't understand why minnesota why you don't want them having fun over there they're living in nursing homes already what else are they gonna be doing all right now we're going down here to mississippi mississippi right next to alabama i don't know why i keep talking that way i don't have any southern accent whatsoever i'm from california i'm sorry i love those accents though i really wish i had one mississippi with a pregnant lady it is a crime to have more than one illegitimate child mississippi once passed a law stipulating that any person who has already had an illegitimate child and again becomes the parent of an illegitimate child when the state is guilty of a misdemeanor? Punishable by fines, jail time, and or both. Okay, hold on. What the hell is an illegitimate child? Let me just check that real quick. Maybe this is why I'm so in shock. People have looked it up. Illegitimate child meaning. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Okay, that's crazy, guys. Pretty much, this is saying, in case for those of you who don't know what illegitimate child means, because I didn't, if your mom and your dad ain't married and they have you, you is an illegitimate child by law in Mississippi. So you couldn't have two baby mamas because then you go about to get a misdemeanor is what they're saying. Going to jail. Maybe they're trying to stop people from just jumping from partner to partner back in them days i don't know that's crazy though that would not fly in 2022 let me tell you all right next one on the list is missouri limitations on garage sales this place specifically jefferson missouri has a strict attitude towards garage sales it's illegal to have more than two in a particular location during the course of one year and it can't last longer than three days it must be held within certain hours wow you guys are strict as hell over there i wonder why though so maybe it's not the whole missouri but jefferson missouri for sure next on our list we got Montana. Montana with live entertainment must be remain on stage while performing. I mean, that's not a horrible law. I mean, it's just weird. Yeah, I guess, but I'm sure entertainers can get hurt 
with fans. I don't know. All right, next on the list, we got Nebraska. And Nebraska has no marriage if you have a venereal disease. A lot of big words happening today, guys. I don't know. <laughs> it's illegal to get married in Nebraska if you have a venereal disease. The courts have later clarified that if the other spouse is aware of the disease at the time of marriage, they can't try to annul the marriage later on these grounds. Okay, well, let me look up venereal disease now because we learned some big words today. I am not a person that knows big words. Ah, I see. Okay, venereal disease is uh, the stuff that happens when babies are made and diseases are exchanged. So it's illegal to get married if you have one though. That's kind of crazy. This definitely is an older law. I don't know if it's still around right now. A lot of venereal diseases are easier to control, I think is the word. All right, next we got Nevada. Sure, it has to do with gambling. Nevada, no lying down on the sidewalks. Oh, okay, so this is in Reno, Nevada. Well, <laughs> who goes to Reno, Nevada? Come on, we all go to Las Vegas. The law states that no person shall sit or lie down upon public sidewalk or upon a blanket chair stool or any other object placed upon a public sidewalk in the downtown reno why well it don't even matter no one goes to nevada for reno who cares i'm sorry reno i'm just kidding if anyone's watching from reno all right this next one over here in new hampshire wow okay so let's listen, listen to this one guys listen to this one. pregnant women can commit murder technically that's insane in 2017 new hampshire passed an anti-homicide law defining a 20-week fetus as a person clarifying that the law did not apply to pregnant women who might need an uh yeah however legislators quickly amended the law after it became clear that its vague language could have permitted pregnant women to commit any murder without any consequences that's crazy imagine being 2017 and you like a genius and you read this law and you're like huh interesting john did me dirty that one time let me go pay that for a visit right quick though i wonder if anyone actually got away with this all right next one on the list is new jersey we have new jersey here with no bulletproof vests while committing oofing i'm sorry i hope this is a joke if you're planning to commit a serious crime in new jersey leave your bulletproof vest at home because according to state law, it's a third degree crime to wear a body vest while engaged in the commission of or an attempt to commit or fight after committing or attempting to commit murder, manslaughter, robbery, sexual assault, burglary, kidnapping, criminal escape, or assault. I'm just... So if you're trying to do a crime in New Jersey, don't wear no bulletproof vest, bro, because that's illegal. <laughs> Oh, New Jersey, you guys are funny over there, bro. You guys are trolls, dog. I should have I should have asked somebody about this. I wish I would have known this law then, because then I could ask somebody. This is funny. This is going to be the number one for the funniest, weirdest law. Now we're going back to the West Coast with New Mexico. New Mexico, idiots can't vote. Plain and simple. I wonder how they figured out you're an idiot. For over a century, New Mexico law stipulated that idiots were ineligible to vote in 2016 the discriminatory language which referred to mentally disabled people was finally reappealed wow met new mexico so they had a law up until 2016 saying idiots can't vote i guess i couldn't vote there now we're coming back to the east coast with new york no mask wearing unless you're at a party unless you're at a gathering that receives proper approval it's illegal in new york to be masked or in any manner disguised by unusual or unnatural attire or facial alteration well i don't think they understand we've been wearing masks since like 2019 bro you got to change that law because then we all go to prison all right now we're coming up to north carolina picture of a monkey north carolina no meetings if members are in costumes so in north carolina it's illegal to hold a meeting or demonstration while wearing a mask hood or other costume so the law sounds random but was likely passed to crack down on the wow plan activities in the state whoa took a turn for the dark okay all right north carolina i understand all right next on the list is north dakota with you need permission to exterminate a pigeon oh, i was saying new york i was about to say we new york bro then pigeons have got no chance pigeons can be annoying in north dakota you need permission to exterminate one the state law holds that no person firm or corporation shall exterminate pigeons or other harmful wild birds without first having obtained a permit all right so you need a permit to kill pigeons in north dakota all right all right we're all going over Ohio because it's all Ohio if your dangerous animal escapes like your tigers because we obviously have tigers in Ohio you have to report it to the authorities the law requires that the owner or keeper or any member of a species of an animal kingdom that escapes from the owner or keeper's custody or control that is not indigenous to the state must be reported on the escape within one hour I don't think that's weird at all I think that's smart so good job Ohio all right next on our list Oklahoma Oklahoma no eavesdropping nosy people might be wise to avoid Oklahoma so all you chismosas and chismosos out there you better not go to Oklahoma, homie. Is every person guilty of secretly loitering about any building 
with the intent of overhearing is guilty of a misdemeanor. So you can't eavesdrop or you get a fine and a misdemeanor. I don't think there's any way to enforce this either. Like you're not gonna admit you were eavesdropping. <laughs> Back to the West Coast, Oregon, with no practicing occult arts. If you want your fortune told, you won't find it in Yamhill, Oregon. So Yamhill, Oregon is a place you don't wanna go if you want to get sent to the gulag. All right, now we're back over here to the East Coast with Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, no bartering infant children. Wow. I thought that was uh, self-explanatory, but apparently in Pennsylvania, they had to make this a law because people were doing some crazy stuff over there. Don't try selling your child. State law stipulates that a person is guilty of a misdemeanor of the first degree if he deals in humanity by trading, bartering, buying, selling, or dealing in infant children. Wow, Pennsylvania. You guys got some issues over there, and I hope you guys make it out on the other side. All right, not too far from Pennsylvania. We like to sell babies. We got Rhode Island. Biting off someone's limb can earn you 20 years in prison. Okay, you East Coast people got some. I mean, these laws are weird, but they were created for a reason. At one point in history, someone crazy enough did this stuff. You can face up to 20 years in prison if you put an eye, slit the nose, ear, or lip, or disable any limb or member of another person. Yeah, I'm not going to Rhode Island anytime soon for sure. All right, we're over here in South Carolina. <laughs> Oh, this is good. No, this is good. No seducing unmarried women. Now, South Carolina, a law once made a man guilty of a misdemeanor if he seduced an unmarried woman using deception and promise of marriage. It sounds more like a woman made this law. The law was repealed in 2016. So this literally sounds like the story of some dude who was hollering at some girl and the girl was in some type of government and he just lied to her like, I love you. I'm gonna marry you, baby. You all mine. And then it was like, psych! And she's like, oh yeah? I'm just write down this new law. All right, you're going to jail. <gasps> I mean, kudos to her for a being able to even pass this law. All right, now we're going to Tennessee. Tennessee, you can't hold public office if you've been in a duel. According to Tennessee Constitution, it's illegal to hold public office if a person does any of the following. Fight a duel or knowingly be the bearer of a challenge to fight a duel or send or accept a challenge for that purpose. Whoa, that's some bull, bro. What the hell? If I'm about to go over here and fight this fool in a duel for my honor, or my girls i can't run in office what tennessee i'm very disappointed you guys i'm very very disappointed all right we're going over here down here to Texas. so in texas you can get married by proxy in texas marriage by proxy are perfectly legal in other words if you have a legitimate reason for absence like military service you can send someone to get married in your place as long as you have the all the right documents that is pretty cool that's kind of weird too all right we're almost getting to the end of this guys we're at utah now it's illegal to cause a catastrophe in utah it's illegal to cause a catastrophe state law defines a catastrophe as widespread injury or damage caused by weapons of mass destruction I don't think this is weird at all. This is, literally sounds like a normal law. Like, if you do some crazy stuff that's illegal and you hurt a bunch of people, that's illegal and you go to jail. All right, now we're over here in Vermont. Uh, no forbidding people from putting up clotheslines. So, it's illegal in Vermont to prohibit clotheslines. Okay, that's not weird at all. Maybe it's a thing over there in Vermont. Okay, now we're going to Virginia. No hunting on Sunday unless they're for oofing raccoons. It is illegal to hunt or oof any bird or wild animal, including nuisance species, on Sundays. However, it is totally cool if it's a raccoon. All right, now we're all back at the West Coast, Washington, and it's Sasquatch over there. It's illegal to oof Bigfoot. Nice. A law passed in 1969. Nice. Slaying of Bigfoot to be a felony. Wow. It's not even a misdemeanor. It's a felony. Punishable in prison for five years. It was amended designating Bigfoot as an endangered species. I guess you got to capture him alive, guys, because we can't be oofing him in Washington. So just make sure he goes to a different state if that's what you're thinking about doing. Over here back in West Virginia, no lewd or lascivious behavior before marriage. Can't go to West Virginia. 1931, West Virginia passed a law banning lewd and let's i can't say that word cohabitation and conduct before marriage the law was finally repealed in 2010 all right damn dude from 1930 to 2010 if you did any kind of stuff before marriage prison prison for you prison for you prison for you maybe fines i don't know that's kind of crazy though all right time to go to wisconsin cheese standards are regulated why is that weird wisconsin takes its cheese seriously state law requires that cheese labels as wisconsin certified premium grade aa meet a certain standard it must be fine highly pleasing and free from undesirable flavors and odors that's not a weird law at all bro i want to eat some good cheese too all right next on our list is wyoming the square state because there's not that many of those around here wyoming no intoxicated skiing well, I guess I'm never going to Wyoming, bro. Why would I go skiing without intoxication? What were they thinking? State law holds that no person shall move uphill on any passenger tramway or use any ski slope or trail while such person's ability to do so is impaired. 
by the consumption of alcohol or by the use of any illicit controlled substances. Nah, that's not a weird law, bro. I mean, come on. You don't want people seeing in that form because obviously they're going to hurt themselves and they're going to hurt others. It's obvious. That's not weird at all. I'm pretty sure everyone has this as a law. Maybe Wyoming enforces it the most. I don't know. And that was all 50 weird laws from all 50 weird states. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you've ever heard of any of these laws in your states. Maybe you have. Maybe you've actually seen someone arrested or fined for any of this stuff. That'd be crazy. If you like the video, give that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.